Hey everyone, it's Riley. Welcome back to my channel for another custom bullet journal flip through. So for those of you guys who don't know, I sell custom bullet journals over on Etsy and the customer can totally customize everything. They can choose the number of months they want, first of all, the amount of doodles, what kinds of different spreads and themes and colors they want and all of that. So if you wanna know more about my custom bullet journals, you can find my Etsy shop link in the description as well as my Instagram account. I post a lot of like process pictures on there. So today's flip through is gonna be a little bit different because the journal that we're flipping through is very tiny. It's actually just a one month journal. So how those kind of journals work is I still set up all of the yearly spreads for this customer and I set them up as though the customer is going to use them for the next six months to a year, but then I only actually set up one month. So it's a really short bullet journal, but what I wanted to do today, since it is so short, is actually walk you guys through my packaging process because honestly, that's one of the fun parts for me, like putting it all together. I like to package it up kind of like a little pen pal letter. Um, and I also wanted to show you a new product that I've been using in my shipment process. So recently I was gifted a label printer from Munbin and it has been such a game changer for me. Honestly, I didn't even have a normal printer before so I would like email all the postage labels to my husband, get him to print them at work, he would bring them home, it was such a hassle. But now I have my own label printer and it is amazing you guys like it's set up with my computer so easily i did watch one tutorial but i found that i could have easily done it by myself so it connected to my computer really easily it prints very fast very clear i have great things to say so i wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what the packaging process looks like today so let's just jump in and flip through and pack up this bullet journal so here's the journal that we're flipping through today it's one of the gray artist loft ones that i use a lot for my custom journals they're really great quality, especially for the price. So this journal is going out to Jessica, and I actually set up her journal in a different video, which I will link above. I did all these yearly pages. And so for the yearly pages, um, I didn't really have like a set theme as much as like just a color palette, and I was trying to play around with mixing and matching different fonts. So we had a nice two-page title for 2021, then we've got a page for goals, and a page for tracking her health. So I did a health tracker in my own 2021 bullet journal setup, and I'll link that video above too in case you wanna know how to actually use this kind of tracker. So the next two spreads that she has are a things to check out page and a books page. So for things to check out, I didn't divide it into categories, but she certainly can if she wants to. Um, this is a place to write down like movies or shows or books or podcasts, whatever she hears about that she wants to check out when she has free time. Then over here, we've got sort of a reading log kind of thing. So as she reads throughout the year, she can write down the title and the author of the book and then just the day that she completes it over here. And the final yearly spread that she has in this journal is like a monthly highlights or memories page. And this is kind of like a year in Polaroids, but you don't have to do the Polaroid part if you don't want to. She could paste a Polaroid in here, um, or she could just write down a couple things that happened that month. So since this journal starts in July, I made it span the last six months of 2021. Then I left one page blank before getting into July. So July is the only month in this journal. And she asked for a rainbow theme, but I decided to add a few other little things. And if you followed me on Instagram, you will likely have seen this one because I actually did this for a like draw this in your style or DTIYS um, challenge over on my Instagram page. So that was lots of fun. Thank you for those of you who actually entered that. And if you haven't, but you wanna try recreating this, this I think would be a fun one to try to recreate in your own style. So we've got a title page over here for July and then an expense tracker here. So a spot for income, she can write down the source, the amount and the date, then for bills, for saving and for spending on that page. Over here, we have kind of like a monthly check-in page. So this is the same kind of thing that I do in my own journal. So this month I'm learning, feeling and thankful for. And then on the other side here, um, it kind of going along with this is her mood tracker. So the 31 days of the month are written down the side here and then there's different moods and she can just fill in um, each day what mood she was feeling. And her final monthly page is a meal spread or just a meal planner. 
So there's again all the days of the month listed down here and then a spot to write down what she's gonna make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. So those are all the monthly spreads. Now for the weekly spreads, um, she wanted a minimal doodle journal. So there's lots of color on these pages but not tons of doodles. So you can see each week she's got the six different boxes for the days of the week on this page. Then she's got a really um, simple title with a sleep tracker over here, a shopping list and a tasks list. And all of her weeklies are the same because she just wanted the same style throughout the whole month of July. So that's it. This is a really short bullet journal, just one month, but of course there's the whole rest of the journal that she will fill throughout the rest of the year or even beyond that. So now that we're done flipping through it, I wanted to package this journal up with you guys the way that I normally package my Etsy orders. So to start off, I take these little business cards. I just made them with craft paper and a white gel pen and I always add one to each bullet journal. And then I just wrap it up using brown craft paper. This stuff I got from an Amazon package. So I usually use like better scotch tape, but I ran out so I'm using some like dollar store knockoff and unfortunately it doesn't work very well. So I'm really gonna have to load on the tape. Um, but this first part is probably my favorite part of packing it up. I really like just like wrapping it like I would a Christmas gift and then making it look kind of like a pen pal envelope or something like that. So anyways, I'm just taking my recycled craft paper and wrapping it just like I would with any journal or book or box or gift. So now that the back is all ugly because of my bad tape, I'm gonna go and move on to the front and make a little tag, I guess. I'm really just gonna write out her name and paste it onto the front of this wrapping job. So her name is Jessica, as I mentioned earlier. I just wrote her name in calligraphy and now as you can see, I'm using that same blue to darken up the top half of each of the letters and then I'm just going to go in with some white gel pen and add white gel pen to all of the thick down strokes. So as you can see, I've already used this paper for a few other journals, but this is all I do. I just write their name in calligraphy, rip it out, and then I'll either draw some more designs onto this white paper or onto the brown craft paper, or I'll use some washi tape, whatever I wanna do to make it cute and sort of pen palish. So normally when I wrap it, I try to make it match with either the yearly themes or some of the colors that I know are this customer's favorite. So that's why I chose this blue with the orange washi tape. It kind of matches with the yearly themes. So now that I've got it all packaged up, I'm gonna put it into a bubble mailer to keep it safe in the mail. And this particular one is just from Walmart. I found them, I can't seem to find ones that like fit my bullet journals perfectly. So these ones are a bit large, but I just use some packing tape to fold over the edges and they work perfectly fine. I haven't had any issues with journals getting damaged in shipping. So next I'm gonna use my brand new label printer from Moonbin. As you can see on this label that I'm showing, I scribbled out all of the important information. So normally their printing is very, very clear and very good. I just went in with some white marker on Procreate and scribbled over the name and stuff like that. But here's the printer. It's very small, fits nicely on my desk, plugs right into my computer and prints very crisp, clear labels as you can see right now. And this is real time, so it goes very nice and fast. Thank you all so much for joining me to flip through and pack up this little journal. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video.